Today is Sun. I was gonna say Sunday. It's not Sunday. It is. Mm, it's Monday. One second. I wanted to do my makeup sitting out here because I was sitting at my new desk, <laughs> finishing a YouTube video for today. So I just wanted to sit out here. But it's 8:50. I am gonna go grocery shopping. I'm trying to go like as early as possible because. Today is Martin Luther King Day, Martin Luther King Jr. Day, so we have off from school. And also, my office is closed, so I would have actually started work today, but because it's a federal holiday, they're closed, which is nice. But anyways, I'm going to go grocery shopping because I don't... Pretty much the entire week, I don't eat a single meal at home anymore. I used to always eat like breakfast and lunch at school, but that didn't really like bother me because I would just buy lunch pretty much every day. And breakfast, I would, you know, just eat like a protein bar or something, but I have to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner at school basically every day. Well, breakfast I can eat at home technically, but you know, lunch and dinner I will be eating at school every day except Monday and then I also just need to buy some avocados I need peanut butter just like some random extra things that I eat because my parents are doing the keto diet um, and it's actually going really really well for them which is good but they, there's not like much food up there that I eat because I don't eat a lot of meat or cheese so there's not many options so that's the deal and then after that i'm gonna come home and cook all that food so it's all meal prepped for the week and i have some homework to do also so basically i'm trading today like sunday even though yesterday was sunday i'm really trying to just get back to my usual productive self last week even though it was the first week of classes i really wasn't myself because you know my wisdom teeth were still in a lot of pain in the beginning of the week they're fine now thank god they're like fully healed but they were in a lot of pain and i just really wasn't feeling myself last week so this week i'm really trying to get back to the grind even though i hate that saying because i want to get back to my youtube like i didn't respond to emails on youtube for like three weeks which is so bad and i had so many missed opportunities because i just didn't respond and i really just need to get back to planning that kind of stuff out a lot of you guys like probably don't know the sponsor side of youtube but 90 percent of the sponsored deals i do is because the company contacts me to do it but I would say like 10% are through me reaching out to companies. So I haven't been doing that. Haven't been responding to emails. I mean, it's just not been good. <laughs> so this week I'm trying to get back to being productive. And I feel like this little switch, like having my computer out here is gonna help. I don't know why, sometimes just changing little things like that just helps. And I guess the final thing I'll update you on, because I don't want this clip to be super long, let me got, let me know down below if you don't if you like clips of me talking for like over five minutes, because I usually will edit it out if I'm talking for more than like five minutes, because I feel like it's boring. But if you guys don't mind it, then I'll leave it in. So let me know down below. But the other thing I've been working on is a budget, because. I'm going to be doing a lot more driving this semester, driving to my job. I'm not taking the train and subway anymore. Uh, turns out it would be just about the same expense to drive and then take the train and then take the subway. 
as it would just be to drive. So I'm gonna buy a parking pass at a garage nearby the office. And it's like $150 a month to park there, but you know what? I would rather pay that than take the train and the subway and walk because it's not really the best area where I'm going. So anyways, I'm trying to budget because me and Jesse are starting to save for our wedding, which is so crazy to say. We're not getting married anytime soon, but we are starting to save for that. And I already have like a savings account and a checking account, obviously, but we're gonna open like a joint account so that we can both put money in. So when we start paying for stuff for the wedding, it's like so much easier. So I wanna budget. I have this Excel spreadsheet, but I'm honestly like not even sure how to use it because I don't have a set income every month. It's completely different depending on how many sponsorships I did, how much money I made from AdSense. Like for instance, in January, I mean, in December we get paid so for the month of December we get paid in January on January 21st actually but today's a holiday so I'll probably get paid tomorrow this month I'll be pay get paid a lot more than I will get paid next month just because my views were down um, also just like the rate I was getting making off each advertisement was down so I'll be making a lot less money next month. So it's like hard to budget and say, okay, well, this is how much I'm, I'm going to make in January because I don't get paid until the 21st. So like basically I was living off of what I made in December in January. You know what I'm saying? I don't get paid like bi-weekly. I get paid once a month. So it's a little bit harder, but I'm definitely gonna try. And once I figure it all out, I will of course tell you guys, but these kind of things have just been exciting me recently like meal planning budgeting saving money you guys should see my pinterest it's always linked below if you want to follow me but i have been very active on pinterest so i'm just going to finish drinking my coffee out of my ruth mug and then change and be on my little way it's super cold today i think it's like four degrees so We'll see how today goes. Okay, so just to show you how I use my iPad for my grocery list, I just opened up a new document on OneNote and I made my grocery list. I separated out by the meals I plan on making and then these are the recipes of things I'm planning on making. Not like recipes, but just saying what they are. And then I highlighted the things I need to buy and then other things I have checked off because we have some and then this is just like the actual list of things I need and I organized it by the sections it is or the sections they're in in the grocery store so like produce and meat are really close together oats peanut butter and protein bars are all together iced coffee and almond milk obviously are together so many of you guys told me in the comment section on my last video that notability or good notes one of those apps does the same thing as this apparently and it's like so much better but I feel one of them is like $8, and not that $8 is a lot, but like if it does pretty much the same thing as OneNote, I'd rather just use OneNote, unless there's like a free trial and then I could try it out. But again, I'm trying to budget, guys, so like I don't really want to be spending money, that's the thing. I'm not going to take my Apple Pencil with me because that's $130, and I would die if I lost it. So I'm just going to take my iPad. I took it out of the case because I don't always need the um keyboard like i really only need that in class and even in class like i honestly don't use the keyboard that much so yeah it's like not really necessary and the good thing is the back of this is not glass which is so good i don't know why apple started putting glass on everything like that was a really bad idea the back of this is not glass which is nice and the front is glass but it's not as like sensitive if you had the old ipad i used to have an ipad years ago and i sold it it was like so easy to break this is a little bit more um durable so i'm using my teddy blake bag because it fits in there and i don't feel like just carrying it and then i'll show you my outfit i'm just wearing this cropped sweater from H&M jeans are actually my Amazon jeans I forgot I even had these and I just haven't been wearing them because I forgot but these are the jeans with like a whole bunch of buttons and then I'm just wearing riding boots and I'm gonna put a scarf on because as I said it's like 20 degrees out no four degrees but now I'm gonna go
Okay, I'm out of the grocery store. Sorry if it's loud, but I need the heat because it's three degrees. I was in and out super fast because no one was here. I got all my stuff. My budget was $50 for this week, which you guys probably think, you know what? The reason I usually will do $50 a week is because I generally eat dinner at home, but now that I'm not eating dinner at home, obviously it's gonna be, you know, more expensive. So I ended up spending 70, which is good still because I bought two things, containers for Tupperware because I don't have any and I obviously need it. And I bought, I had to buy some rice cauliflower for my mom. And I bought almond milk. Usually it takes me like two to three weeks to go through almond milk. So, like I won't be buying that next week. So probably every week I'll spend about 50. But they had no chicken, which was super weird. They had like really no meat because probably their deliveries are delayed because of the snowstorm we had. I guess I'll do a quick grocery haul when I get home and show you what I got. And then I'm probably going to, I guess, prep my meals. I don't really know. <laughs> so we'll see what I end up doing. Grocery haul time. I got some broccoli to steam. I got two of those. I got two of these riced cauliflower things for myself. I like these because it comes with peas and carrots in it also. And I just feel like this specific brand has the best texture. And I got my cold brew because I'm trying to not spend money on coffee and I know driving every single day I like to have coffee like on my way to school or on my way to work so I'm going to be making it. I got two of these oats and nut butter. So this one is oats and peanut butter or almond butter. No. Oats and peanut butter and then oats and cashew butter. And it just has oatmeal and cashews in here. And it's great because it's like already all together and all I have to do is add hot water so I could have this at school or work. I got a nourish bowl. I've never seen these before, but it's broccoli, cabbage, carrots, some kohlrabi, I don't know what that is, snap peas, brown rice, and sesame sriracha sauce. So this would be so good just as a quick, easy meal, add some avocado on top and maybe some protein. And it's really good. Um, I'm excited to try this. I'll probably have this like today. And if it's really good, I'll get some more. For This would be like perfect for work. I got some chopped lettuce because I'm going to do like some homemade chipotle bowl so i want to just pre-chop lettuce i'm really lazy almond milk for or i got cashew milk for my iced coffee some avocados i got some oreos because i love dessert and i need to have dessert every night and then i got two of these Belvita blueberry bars i love these things i think they're so good and i always buy them at school and it's like two dollars for one of them and i got two of these for six dollars and they have like five in them so these are really good for breakfast and finally i got some bread i got this panera multi grain bread for avocado toast with eggs which would be my breakfast for like for Tuesdays and Thursdays because I eat breakfast at home those days. Then I got six of these Chobani Flip yogurts. I like these as a snack. They don't really have much protein. So I got a few different flavors of these. I got two packages of these three medium Ziploc Tupperwares. They're the perfect size for like a bowl of food. But right now I'm gonna respond to some comments on my new video that I just uploaded and just kind of chill because I don't really feel like cooking lunch and dinner at 10 o'clock in the morning. We try to find our ways in life to give our hearts and soul a peace of mind But you just want to drink your wine and grab the glass and let it go
so I just made six meals. Three of them are salad, so they're kind of like buffalo chicken salad, but it's just lettuce, broccoli, and buffalo chicken, and then I'll add avocado to it. And then these bottom three are cauliflower rice, black beans, lettuce, chicken, and then when I eat them, I'll add salsa and avocado. But now I'm back on my regular camera because that other one is just too heavy. I don't know if I'm just very weak or if everyone else's camera is just really light, but it's now, what time is it? 4.55. I had that nourish bowl that I got at the grocery store and it was pretty good. Um, it wasn't like spectacular. It had no protein in it. But now I'm just going to watch YouTube videos. I'm pretty much done with all my homework and everything. So I'm just going to watch some YouTube and chill for the rest of the night. Probably work on some other like YouTube related things, but that's all. Do you have anything to say for yourself? I don't know if they can see that or not. Just you made some art. Yeah. How's life been? Oh, life's so swell. You know, I'm just living it up. Do you have anything you want to update anyone on? I'm pretty sure they know everything. Uh oh, uh oh. We got 60% quitters on my Instagram stories. Quitters? They will quit their New Year's resolution. 60% voted with our quitter. I posted this on my Instagram story just because I'm wondering and also because I sort of gave up. Sort. sort and we got 60% quitters. And One of my resolutions was to. um spend less money which i've been doing i've been doing you just bought an ipad the brand new oh um, what do you mean you've been doing um i think i've still been doing it uh, eat healthier which i have been doing and then the other one was to work out but see the problem with that is that i got my wisdom teeth taken out two weeks ago i got my wisdom teeth taken out on the eighth and then I did not recover for an entire week. So I could have worked out last week. I could have worked out starting like Tuesday. But I started school and <laughs> it all comes down to the fact that I absolutely, absolutely hate everything about working out. I hate it all. Okay? You hate everything about everything right now. I'm PMSing, Jesse. If you must know. So that's why I'm a quitter. Um... I'm going to start my New Year's resolutions tomorrow. <laughs> but anyways, that was my um, chat of the day. Sorry there was no positivity in that, but I hope you guys are doing well on your New Year's resolutions. You can let me know in a comment how you're doing, whether you're sticking with them, you've ditched a few, or you've just gone a new direction. A new direction. <laughs> uh, that's it. I have to take a shower soon-ish. I, really I have to take to. a shower and... This is what you've decided to do with your life, so it's my turn. But look at her. She loves lying against the pillows. I know, that's why I put it there. Well, it's now like 8.30 and I'm going to go to bed because I'm tired and... If I go to bed, I mean, I probably won't go to bed until like 10 o'clock anyways. But I'm at least going to try to go to sleep. But I'm going to go. Jesse's going to end the vlog for you. Because he hasn't done that in a long time. Do you want to end the vlog? Huh? Do you want to end the vlog? This is too close. It's far away. This is far. 
Oh, I could do this all day. I'll just take a listen to my music. I'm tired of you talking over my mouth. No. She just doesn't understand. Okay, obviously you can't do this, so. <laughs> okay, never mind. Jesse's not ending the vlog. So, I'll just have to end it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you aren't. Here comes Jesse. Bye. Bye.